now let us observe the phenomenon called refraction so refraction is the phenomenon of light when light passes from one medium to another medium either it comes closer to the normal or it moves away from the normal that depends on the rarer or denser of the two media now suppose if i take a convex lens through convex lens here these rays are moving from rarer medium and this is convex surface and through this convex surface these are coming out of it so convex surface will always our convex lens will con our con it's also known as converging lens would which, which converges all the parallel rays at one particular point and this point is called focus for it and the convex lens will have real focus now let us observe through the concave so in this concave lens the rays get diverged so if you look at the distance between the two rays that will be increased so this is also known as diverging lens now if you observe the refraction through a glass slab you can see the bending of light in the glass slab so this bending is caused just because of refraction because here the outside the glass the medium is air and inside the glass the medium is glass so when the rays are coming from a rarer medium to a denser medium the rays will be coming closer to the normal so in this case when the rays are again going from the glass to the air they will move away from the normal so one can observe these rays are again parallel to these rays okay so now let us observe the refraction through plano convex lens so this side is plane and this side is convex side now let's reverse this one again it acts as converging lens now this is plano concave the rays get diverged okay so now we can observe this is another plano convex so here the rays are formed so here it is the focal point of it now the refraction through the prism so you can see that these are the incident rays and these are emerging rays so the incident ray suppose if there is no refraction then the ray would have gone straight but just because of refraction it has been bent and then this is only known as a deviation now i can show you within the glass prism if you observe the light this is incidenting and again coming back to the same medium so this phenomenon is called total internal reflection now let us see the refraction through all the substances in dark room so when it is normal all the rays are appear to be normal only now you can see that this ray is bending away from the normal okay so this is the observation through the glass slab
so this is convex lens this is concave lens this is a curved surface plano convex now we were talking about the refraction the refraction actually why the refraction is caused the refraction is caused just because the speed of light in rarer medium is different from the speed of light in any other uh, denser medium other than air so the speed of light is different in different media which causes the refraction if the light goes from rarer to denser its speed gets reduced and it comes closer to the normal if the light goes from denser to rarer its speed will be increased and it moves away from the normal so there are many uh, uh, phenomenon or many uh, incidents that take place in day to day life which are related to the refraction for example when we go on a very uh, sunny day then you can see that there is some water layers formed over the road so that is one cause of uh, one of the reasons uh, for the refraction